This river runs west, and counter to every story I drank deep in those small doll days. Strange, heavy with collective unconscious, with all of those west-running improbable relations, spending lavish hands worth of emotion on this imagined west, in this city which also runs west, into an ocean I own no stories for. A borrowed ocean, full of marvels fed by these long men who collect different water, who polish stones that won't tell me the future in any language that I know. My brother and I are driving in an empty cell lane. We are God's evil to these settlers. They might throw us under the shift change. We take wolf naps. We don't know what else we good at besides this traveling state lines in the night tide passing through beachhead America, passing with hurricane memory, 3,000 exits of sludge bathed apartheid. Everything south of Canada is extrajudicial gun oil in your local unemployment factory. In a few hours, we will fit in, relax for now, hop out the car, and I'm a dirty shoe illusion, leaning on the trunk with the ghosts of switchblades and other rusty services. I am enemy humor and traveling father's ashes on the back seat behind two sons in a lane, not for metaphor, well, maybe a metaphor about something unfinished. One million hands passing us through the Midwest. Last wishes by way of fishtail, daydreams by way of collision, home in the badlands of translation, relaxed passing, great grandparents, finger bones, fathers, ashes, no longer arms, just tattoos, badlands, imagination, barreling, translating a father's last trip home. We don't know what else we good at besides this traveling exits and collage, exits and pieces, pieces of 1970s kitchen plates and a good luck refrigerator. We still ain't ate. The narcotic swing of how we see yesterday, get out the car against desperate white supremacy, Gas station greetings, stray dogs, and other earthborn alarms we are stray deadly against. Uh, desperate white supremacy and other senses that die silly and have murdered. We don't know what else we good at besides this traveling. Two coins are the, are the toll is us. Character interstate on a journey of a million parallels. Some like us better high, some like us better drunk. Every late night has a summer to it. Cousin Breeze and murder ray barreling like gut born love songs. Your ancestors are smiling as we pass the time when we ride this language past Gary 3000. Cast iron line and proud forearms for meals. Three man ghost story, fishers of ourselves, uh, cards dealt, narrative implied, maybe something unfinished, like an Indiana hurricane, or two midnights in Milwaukee, or no arms, no tattoos, no Chicago ever again. We don't know what else we good at besides this traveling, and besides, heaven is all goodbyes anyway. Drive. Drive placidly through the noise and haste. Drive placidly. Drive. It's not a secret that most people waste a lot of time, and if they were doing something different, they would feel better and, in fact, be better people. So tell your secrets to someone no one talks to in the buzz and hum of conversation, overlapping rants, pontifications. Hide your secrets out loud. It's the tingle of karma and what seeds we sow. I am an American, therefore I drive. I want to do the right thing, but I have retroactive amnesia. I know what I said when I said it, but now I don't remember anymore. Time is short stopping for cigarettes. Blow smoke in my face. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. It's going to be an early night, or is it? Good sense has coagulated. We're all dehydrated. And the last thing we need is another drink, but that's what's likely to happen. The city smells like urine. We endure run-of-the-mill Pilsner kisses, love without flip-flops, love in a full lotus position, Love that just misses masking what harvest comes of bones in mass graves. A crackhead sings too softly to be heard over boom boxes and traffic passing through. What can soften the flavor of bad dreams and reality too bitter to smoke? How do you write a love song in a time of war? I might as well be sitting in an ashtray, rolling in the dust of my own exhalations. Sing me a love song anyway. 
Now, did it pick up in medias race, like they say? Well, you can look away, flick a switch, turn a dial, be virtually a lot. And there's a lot to look away from well. So fill her up with Disney's and wrestling costumes. Your children are spitting images, your mind reeling in their disbeliefs. Now, video watching after news, after shooting information at Littleton near Denver, suburban high school, middle class, Colorado, trench coat mafia, now being watched by video against minorities and students of purported Christian persuasion and athletic prowess, 14 hospitalized, a student body of 1,800 after explosions. Now, being watched by video background fantasies, 20 people in all black, men painting nails and eyes black, apocalyptic death cult images, intercuts of informations after shotgun blasts, SWAT teams, hostages, clothing as costume in hiding in drag dragons, dungeons, fantasy game, video game, going out with a flame, kamikaze, maybe Nazi too, multimedia ultimate shootout in the living room, intimate and intimidation. Shucks, Ma, we was only kidding. And then it got real, like we were in this movie. This power, we really had them being paranoid of us, vampires with deadly fire and reach. Ma, you should have seen us. They thought we laid mines. Ma, imagine that, us in trench coats, a real mafia for those few precious moments. Ma, they used to make fun of us. Well, QR has challenged me. I had kind of suggested some kind of improv activity, and he handed me this and said, you can read that. <laughs> Maybe no glasses helps. It does. Look at that. <clears throat> Is it the work of poets to create soft cozies around the edges of contemporary society that protect one another? Is it the work of poets to make sense of displacement and tragedy? If we pick the brightest colors, the prettiest marking pens, <clears throat> our shiniest words, and gloss them over and around and create pattern can we protect one another? Can we hold each other safe? I find myself worrying about the fixed, like the weather of the seasons I can do nothing about, like the reasons of second nature's repetitious fancies. I choke at rancid cues of stone too high, too tiptoe around, stumbling premises of apt gesture that ingest a little too much far gone jest in cardboard styling and water rat scurry. I smart at those hipped on otherness who hint at dues with indigo obsolence, dribbling from the corners of their wit. I find myself adopting bad habits, thinking about what thought I, thought I have, nothing to do with and can't help looking at pictures of terminal cancer of desire who sniffle and wheeze and whisper, please, and sputter and gravel, gravel for tardy resurrection, modeled complete, complected artistry in rhinestone settings and backseat jalopy drag. What bad thought junkie I am, strung out on the concrete of protein, the lips of staggering adjectives, informing the sepia image drunk with multiform gray and guilty esoteric verse that binds and hides the sun in amorphous profusions, nouns listing on their sides. Y'all can't handle this. <laughs> this is exactly what I would want to be doing on a Sunday. Making decisions on the fly, deciding whether I'm going to drop F-bombs for posterity, <laughs> you can usually count on me for that. 
or waxing nostalgic about, you know, problems that we've been considering for a long time. So they seem more cuddly than current problems. Climate change. This heat grips me like the pleather embrace of a discount dominatrix. I like it. You may call me perverse, but I like this new heat in northern cities. See, San Francisco's never been a frigid bitch, and she's always been for sale. Her sweat stinks of sweet steam beer. It's sometimes hard to navigate her silicone valleys, her devil's slide, but I cling to her commands. Flip that switch. Drive me, drive me, come on, give me a lift. Drive me, drive me. Her wish is my command. I'm a willing slave and everything I do heats her up, sweat dribbling down fishnets into stiletto boots. Climate change. I saw these with out a home becoming victims of their own cons, robbing the Republic dry on welfare lines, mental health clinics for the general public now displaying their sores, ghost dancers in the streets, shaman shaman trying gaming public acts provoking charitable retributions from the heads of states down to you and me and on the party line. I saw this army of criminals waiting on the corners, skillfully plotting on the corners in heavy rains, scheming as competent as NASA for its own ends and means, only in snowdrifts at midnight, gracefully evading the sharp raises of winds, amazing the others at their stamina, their abilities to launch and operate a full-scale production under conditions like these. I saw these super people without jobs who kept on standing there with no visible means of support. This is literally a random poem pulled out of a pile of E.K. Keith's work. But it's kind of excellent and perfect because it's called Narcissism. The shadow of the Lorax plays on the walls of Plato's cave where Christ was buried. And on the third day, Sisyphus rolled the rock away and invented religion to fuel all feuds with folks who might yet be friends. The world is getting small, or the world is small and getting smaller, an unlikely oasis in space. I am you. All the myths are true. We are all gods at all times. And of course, we see ourselves in every drop of water. It is us. A tour guide through your robbery, he also is. Cigarette saying, look what I did about your silence. Ransom water and box spring gold, this decade is only for accent grooming, I guess. Ransom water and box spring gold, the corner store must die. War games, I guess, all these tongues rummage junk. The start of mass destruction begins and ends in restaurant bathrooms that some people use and other people clean. You telling me there's a rag in the sky? Waiting for you, yeah, we've written the scene. We set a stage, we should have fit in. You know warehouse jobs are for communists, but now more corridor and hallway have walked into our lives. Now the whistling is less playful and the barbed wire overcrowded too, my dear. If it is not a city, it is a prison. <laughs> if, it has a, if it has a prison, it is a prison. 
not a city. You know, when a courtyard talks on behalf of military issue, all walks take place outside of the body, dear life to your left, the medieval painting to your right. None of this makes an impression. Crop people living in thin air, you have five minutes to learn how to see through this breeze. When a mask goes sideways, barbed wire becomes the floor, barbed wire becomes the roof, 40 feet into the sky, becomes out of bounds. When a mask breaks in half, mind which way the eyes go. They killed the world for the sake of giving everyone the same backstory. We're watching Gary, Indiana fight itself into the sky. Old pennies for wind, for that wind feeling you get before the hood goes up and over your headache. Pennies that stick together, mocking all aspirations. Stuck together pennies was the first newspaper I ever read, along with the storefront dwelling army that always lets us down. Where the Holy Spirit favors the back room, souls in a situation that offer a hundred ways to remain a loser. Souls watching a clock, hoping that eyes don't lie to sad people. Hey, what was we talking about again? The narrator asked the graveyard, 10 minutes flat said the graveyard. The funeral only took 10 minutes. I never tell that to anyone again. You just gonna pin the 90s on me, all 30 years of them. Then why should I know the difference between sleep and satire? The pyramid of corner stores fell on our heads. We died right away. That building wants to climb up and jump off another building. These are downtown decisions. Somewhere on this planet, it's August 7th, and we running down the rest thinking one more needs to come with me. What evaporated on Earth so that we could be sent back down? colonized American daughters. English has left me speechless in at least three other languages. My mother tongue ate up all the words that might have been mine. If you can't say it, you can't think it, and you can't do it. What's left? All that's left. A few family keepsakes, quaint old trinkets, a recipe or two, self-loathing, a desire to fit in. This is how wisdom gets lost and never finds her way home. So my man, whose daddy took him to Mr. Michaud's bookstore, and you met Ben Davis and Richard Wright. And I mean to ask you if you knew Vito Marcantonio during those times of rust that busted the poor in spirit down even further, gave the boors free passage to the Taj Mahal, sent the slickers into literary country to slice away the balls pudenda of story and song. What are the lessons of those times you transcended not too easily, yet maybe too quickly, in earnest gestures of flash and humanizing frenzy, nurturing yourselves on exotic places, exotic people who recognized in you their lack and asked to be fed biscuits instead of stones and steins of imported beers and the lines of palava who use canvas and notebooks as bedroom props, bed after bed. What are the lessons of those times? Your distant magnanimity never teased them, nor gave the condescending nod and knowing look in the transactions of identity they didn't know and you knew well. What are the lessons of those times? I wish I'd asked, but years of research tells me just the same. We sold the words for gathering berries when Great Aunt Lydia needed school clothes. A picture of her wearing them snuggles in an envelope in my father's bedroom. Some family pictures you just don't know what to do with. Precious as thorny canes. Home place went as a matched set for bail money. May's brother, I can't remember which, framed, says family story, but he must have skipped because we never got those words back. No witnesses. No witnesses in broad daylight. Let's be clear for a moment. Nothing has been lost. Some of it was traded. Some of it was stolen. These are the colonial times, and community memory stretches thin. Days are you have to travel light. Pick carefully the things to leave behind, no matter how beautiful. I keep the word for catfish, folded tight in the lining of my left shoe safe and close 
for my boys. <laughs> Have I messed this up for everybody now? <laughs> uh, if you reverse the car any farther, you will run over all the scenes in the back of your mind. I never cared for teachers, just the patterns of their fainting spells. Of course, <laughs> of course, induced by wall art. All that to say, <laughs> propaganda is courage, man. The price sticker hides my tattoo. I treasure my problem with the world. My mother becomes from Brooklyn first thing in the morning. That's a proverb around these parts. Proverb or peasant entrance password. Writing short notes to famous Europeans on the back of postcards with ransom requests. They reply with a newsreel or a cigarette announcement. I can't tell the difference. Noble dollars, then you die inside, but only inside. They call it sleeping deeper than your stalker, and stalker is all that badge makes you, says a great spirit, dressed in the bloody rags tuxedos became. Meanwhile, my punch is feared by no one. Uh, proud of yourself, I ask my fret hand. Porch lights is what they call our guns. I've seen this house in a dream. I believe a trumpet was the first possessed object to fly. Keep going, she cheers. The draft in the room becomes a toddler. Toddler obsessed with the altar. The altar becomes a runaway train. I got a thousand paintings like these cascading down my skinny arms. Dictionaries piled up to the window bars. A reminder to the population that your blanket can work with or against you. Human reef. We will be a big human reef of concepts that finally gain a metaphysical nature and they will swim around our beautiful poses. We stopped being flashbacks, then stopped being three different people. Then I was alone, the pistol one city away. One of the drug triangles lines runs through my head. I tap the bottle twice and consider the dead refreshed. Hey, don't you want to rest your bravery? Don't you want to be a coward for a little bit? Back and forth to a panic attack with no problems nor fears. A man gets a facial expression finally. A Friday finally goes his way. His life is finally talked about happily in his head. Hey, I can't possess the body of a Herman. I must be the last of his smoke. Now running the other way with three blocks of alley tucked under my arms. You ever see a man get to the bottom of his soul in a car ride down a missing cousin street? Half step to the right. I mean, I took the whole car outside of history. Half step to the right. I mean, a whole pack of wolves step to my left. Road marker is what I call the light bulb we had for a sudden a whole civilization might slink to the sink or a chain gang shuffling next to a sucker also known as the long look in the mirror a stack of money starts talking from four cities away america drives drunk she's a bloated old whore vomiting the star-spangled banner on the sidewalk Oh, say, can you give it to me, give it to me. I'm free. What happened? I just want to watch TV. Don't touch that dial. We have remote control. Vertical and horizontal hold. We watch TV on endless stream, but there used to be a broadcast day. They'd spin the star-spangled banner while we watched the astronauts plant the flag on the moon. The test pattern turned on, colored bars and blocks, and that single tone woke me up if I fell asleep in front of the tube. The happiest memories of my childhood are of my family gathered. My mother never cooked, so we watched TV together. Star Trek and Doctor Who, Wonder Woman, and Saturday morning cartoons. I liked the click of the dial. I liked how static really looked like noise. I didn't believe in radiation or God or really anything I couldn't see. I liked to sit really close to the TV. My mother would scream, but I never did go blind. I like to press my eye against the curved glass. I couldn't see inside, but I saw how the picture made itself of millions of tiny boxes of color, constantly rearranging to entertain us, 
to sustain us. What happened? A crash. Drunk driver won't make the news. Oh, say, can you red eyes and blood? White sidewalk, the ambulance. Blue nitrile gloves. Can you see? You are trying to imagine this is all a dream containing just another truck stop story, I thought. Then I saw this in English subtitles. If you are captured, the poetry will dissolve between your teeth with you. You are breathing hard. A mirror will crack under your nose before your exhalation registers on it. All the white powders in this country are in the hills. The killers here produce pain, not the stilling of it. You are trying to, and very quickly, summon up phrases about injustices. The trooper says he cannot finish writing the ticket in Spanish till it is dry in the city. You will have to wait. He notices the ring around your collar as he grinds the heel of his boot underneath your ear. He will remain clean at any costs. Richard Pryor says, this factory stinks like shit. Quack. They seem to be doing Alexander Nevsky backwards in rag time. Meantime, there is this roar of blood running down a blind alley. You find yourself screaming, I can see, I can see, I can see. It's a miracle. All is red. All is red. Eisenstein is having a shit fit in Kabul. Chuck Berry is ringing in the slaughter. Who's ding a ling about to be crushed? Cut off in primitive gestures, buddy. Whatever happened to Dave ba ba Bartholomew, who really cut that tune with a razor exiled from Tin Pan Alley, now proxied in Santiago, big time south of the border, slicing deep. Suzanne Sontag has recovered, thank God. What language do they make duck soup with, dear? Gulp, el golpe, quack, quack. That season again. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria have been carried overland for far too long. Every indigenous child handed a ballast stone at birth. Five adults massed on shoulders, four young women untangling rigging, and elders folding sun-dried sails flaking with salt. We walk the southern wagon trails to the Pacific like an unhealthy song, singing everyone west for all time. We have carried Chris in our pockets. Our shoes are muddied with him and word of him. Our faces are marked, our hands are muscle sore, our voices a raven growling songs of the lost. The planks have been sent out into the California surf, but they float back every October. They float back on shore. Here comes the tap water whistling past our heads. Institution tile under brake pedals, matching white watches painted on palms for smash and grab recollections. People who are related by ballad. Hot plate failures, fishing for proletarians. The matchstick that is a draft card by the time the loner finishes sweeping the train. Also related by ballad, underpaved streets hanging like strips of film in thin air. I miss the carpentry more than the religion. I tore the tattoo <laughs> out my uncle's picture and lent it to my friends 
one left cross at a time for life mimed behind my back. They say the child will do better upside down. The child's cake party is in the precinct, mainstream tune playing upside down, a t-shirt with their face on it, printed on a cop's thumb. 28 hours later, a headrest will do. The city rain feels like clientele. I doze on the back of a bus and woke in the mind of a three-story man. God, won't you hear with that crowbar in your hand? All of the world is the third floor. Seasons invent themselves, but we invent the underground. Cause and effect is nothing but a casual venue I once played. He decided not to kill me like giving loose change. They don't teeter now, tall man. I was nobody at point blank range. Nobody finally again. Lung first, I fell. A love, then a rule, then a hate. Dance moves within murder attempts within dance moves. Hey, lean back and be celebrated by small people, he said. The clothes on my life teacher needed new patches. Sit back and disrespect it all. I've given up on counter-revolution, I said. Well, <laughs> well, then here's your weapon, little bank. Hey, knowing what you know now, would you still have written fortunes on the bottom of church shoes and put them back on the rack? And how does everyone think that a rich guy is their twin? Along with other tantrums is my cue, fortune teller half sleeps while talking about a mirror treading all over the posters in my childhood room and how cold calculation really mothers nothing in a vision of chess pieces and chains. He says, then my friend, you will have fear and then you will have form. <clears throat> this is from Sidewalk Indian by Kim Shock. Infections and narratives. Hard to tell if this story is remembered or invented. I'm in no position these days to know too many hours of pouring over blankets and miscellaneous strips of weaving and how many times can I catch the intended pox anyhow. There is that. Throat tickle of repeated histories. And I confess that I can't pick one of them from the other any more either the threads packed by years of group delusion, repainted woodwork, and the deep desire for self-justification. For belonging, our truth has stained this flooring, has dyed your hems, and if the hum of history before the invasion isn't part of your dream soundtrack yet, then it soon will be. That was by Kim Shuck. Now, it's just tumble town all around. More haves rule, more have nots. There is less to have, to be had, for all is another rule, is trash, is fact, and it's all over town now. The top hits bottom, bottom nowhere in sight, just the aftermasses of terminal blight. You know, there is some stuff you just can't make up. This is the last Blue Cloud, Quarter Blue Cloud Quarterly, which was uh, a publication out of Marvin, South Dakota. And um, this particular issue was poems by Mary Tallmountain, who used to make food for homeless people a few blocks from here. Um, I wanted to... Read this. Is there light still springing? At that house in Capernaum, she waited at the door. In myself, I felt angry. No, of Simon. I willed him admit her, she of the burning hair, the Magdalene. She came to my couch. I heard the trickster Pharisees clicking their beads. I saw their wagging beards as I lay at the table, sharing fare with Judas and my brothers. She bore an urn of alabaster, oh, the blaze of her hair, more bright than my woven wools. I thought of John across the way, chained by Herod, Antipas, of course. For this Mary was imprisoned, too, but the bright hair burst free. Her tears laved my dusty skin, 
spikenard glazed the air. Now I felt the gust of Judas's anger, and that was begun, which is finished tomorrow yet. Tell me, is there light still springing from the marvelous hair of the Magdalene? When a drummer is present, they are God. I am, <laughs> I am not an I. I am a black commons. I'm writing my new tattoo out on bus station glass, making tattoos all afternoon, trying to talk myself into seeing the decade through. I mean, I must really be the devil's front man, staring at an empty bus that I imagine in fact carries paintings of people. And the man drunk behind the wheel has to choose between a black and white toddler after school in America on a California street that doesn't need a name nor a California. No one on the street has a job and therefore no one is there. I colored my oppressor's gun and dance floor for him in the same day the joke began. The walk under bus seats is fine by me as long as I get to the front, the joke concluded. And Tuesday is downhill entertainment or commotion in the ashtray, the day that jail quotas get filled or the day that the planet plays flat. Maybe the capitalist says stadium seats on fire and calls it economic progress. The communist has plenty of time to finish his cigarette and lie to his boss. A killer lying down in front of a, a tank. I have a small statue built in my chest and also an anchor upside down in the air. Worried about the walls, I forgot that the ceiling was closing in on me too. That's my take on my alcoholism. I'm hunched over a meal I ate five years ago. That's my take on the look on my face. Cursed God a little and took another step up the staircase and for a second forgot all occupants of the world beginning with this house. This action hero of one street proportion declares rap music is the way to count blessings. The 80s were better than its fiction. I will be half eaten my entire life, always walking beside myself with a gun to my head. And another one pointed at passers-by, half of me, all of you. But I'm always happy to see you. What a miraculous route you took through the threat. Honest pay is a knife in his arm. Honest pay in my chest is a broken lock on the monument. Tell you the truth, I forget what his hands look like, what he did with them, or what kind of third eye the handcuffs cut into his wrist. Understanding. The opposite of love is ego, and neither of us have anything in the game. So let's ruin our friendship. Let's drink cheap beer on a first date that lasts at least seven years. Maybe sometime we'll need some sleep, maybe sometime, but not now. I'm wearing one Batman sock and one with blue stripes. I never got the hang of matching, except when I'm with you. You know, uh, we are happy, but strangely insignificant to most souls. No match for human kisses. I wonder what the speechwriter would tell himself now. I look twice at the tower and write nothing. Flashing back to a high school teacher talking to me like I've ever listened to jazz music on the day someone got killed. TV static, then the 70s. Then TV static, then the 70s again. Then the coin trick. They look at black people twice sometimes then the 70s again, then the dinner plate cornered. All I could think to do was admire their guns. 1,000 knocks on the door made me a happy dead man. <laughs> the weight and shape of bravery is particularly your own. It's not the only challenge you'll face. Morning today was not as cold. Tests of your heart are constant. I've seen you wedging yourself into cracks between window and frame, seen you squarely on your feet, beak to muzzle with mythology, fortunately, a story you recognize. Conclusions reel out in all directions, blue and light blue and then unseeable, 
that this is a thing you've seen, caught here by your own childhood sweat dream. In this moment, you are too tired for fear. Eyes open, this is actually dangerous. An equation of meat and alcohol and anger, your calm doesn't help, and you're not interested in the choreographies of submission, a physical language that too many women are forced to learn. Feet firm, you do not conform. Sad for the moment, you do not conform. Tomorrow can be anything else. Tonight is not yet an emergency. The first cigarette makes this parking lot my bedside. The second cigarette makes this parking lot my front pocket. Next, I hold the witness like a newborn, though half-hearted. Brittle teeth by my art. Watch how we talk in depopulated circles. You caught me, said the hangman to the condemned. Caught me red-handed, but the hangman's hand kept moving nevertheless. Biting flags eastbound and other familiar sound effects, a revolutionary would call us a landless fire. The night train agrees that these are my keys. I'm just admiring your fabric, Lord. My art is rational, therefore my life is in danger. Traveling up the tap this time, and it looks like water was never here, just jail noise and the jail noise that politicians speak. This world is weak. Lost his graffiti too many times. I tell the witness all characters are in motion regardless of what that day did to your disposition. I also left that piece of good news in the ashtray next to my nickname. And every room has a kitchen in it. Every life has company to feed. Every room has a rumble in the corner. Eighth grade heroin in my hand along with pieces of an uncle of purgatory grease fire got us worried. A phone rings in 1988. An epoch begins when a mother hangs up. This is not writing poems. This is wishing car loads well. Understanding. Harder times coming when respect isn't mutual. Power usurped by men in expensive suits against the will of ordinary people. Bamboozled, double-talked, and flim-flammed. We stand, cardboard in our hands. We the, for the, by the, comes the revolution. Us folks are the peoples who look towards the sea. Vision and memory. Past. Perfect futures are strewn about our musics like seaweeds on the shore. Our eyes, hearts of fire dancing on looms aghast and bedazzled, caressing these sands and clapping spirits. Our souls are numberless. Our souls are numberless. Buckets and bus stations. Tennessee bound, and Tennessee was bound to do it. Shark to music. It's a pool room in a car. Cigar break. I told you don't be no more than one woman late again. They killed your best friend for those songs but I bet they don't get you, too. Sea drifter in blue, peacoat on a miracle, clear night for my love, walk on the gulf, like we've been doing our whole life. A God's voice cracks. We only talking about water, baby. How many times you gotta write letters to the city? How many times I gotta leave you at home? You know guns don't really talk, and gods only talk to themselves. I never knew your father, but one drifter to another, I see you never stood a chance. Tornado pick, toothpick for mask, 185's gambler, past slaver's trader marble, past smoke back and forth to a fork and back, rec center's crumbling sign on the backs of his knuckles, the man, the myth, the summer, dust puddle under dirty eyes, 10 numbers to rest, messed up the cards, a deck of right eyes, I am. Three devils in a joke about a virgin. Worried that too much heaven is possible. A fan of anxious comics. Waiting behind tornadoes for food. 
that was by Tongo Eisen Martin. But the interesting thing, one of the things about doing, reading one another's work that I always notice, I have a really hard time with one or two poets not, like, tr not trying to do them. Carol Lee Sanchez is one of them. I have a really hard time not trying to read it like she does. But I gotta say about Tongo's work, if I just unplug my brain, it's an entirely different poem because I've heard you read pretty much everything at this point, brother. <laughs> and it's like, it does not come off the same way when I do it. So thank you for indulging me on that one. We are also the ones spoken of in prophecy. We, fence walkers with multilingual imaginings of birdmen, sunflowers, and rattlesnakes, too. We time travelers who carry are part of one of the fires, or maybe the fire is gone underground and waits. Some find themselves marked with a scar where a coal was picked or just as it looked likely to go out, but were written on by that heat with words of their own history, just the same on some of us, the marks can be faint. Yes, the sound of those Eastern rivers, not even in dreams, yes, Still, it doesn't take much breath to relight us all to a set, a whole new generation ablaze. When a street light uh, prophet speaks by Ken Shuck, he did. <laughs> that was my interpretation. You know? <laughs> I learned all my Spanish in school. I never tried to pass for white but I have been passed because it's good to be white in America. And mother knows best to give a not quite white baby white names that don't explain such dark eyes and such tight curls. My name never stopped mean girls hissing gringa cola prieta and guerra and taco. Brown on the inside, not quite white on the outside. You would not believe how white people talk about other people when they think you're white. How it's more polite to say Spanish instead of Mexican. And the subtle shift in tone when your Mexican is discovered, your tortillas uncovered. I never tried to pass for white but I have been passed because white people who like me want to give me the benefit of the doubt. And let me tell you, sister, there's nothing like white privilege, and my mother knew it. So when people would ask, are you Italian or Greek? She would laugh and say, good guess. <laughs> That's true. It's so disappointing, such dark eyes and such tight curls failed to fit in. Not white, not Mexican. I have been passed. I identify as white trash. My mother is Mexican, but her family doesn't mind. Porque no hay indios in la familia. And since I learned all my Spanish in school, it was years before I understood it's good to be white in America. We used to dance. We used to dance to the drums. To the drums, to the drum, 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 and pulsate knowledge, stoke and stomp steps of flowing science, smoking howls of rhythm, imagining wise of delicate proportion. We used to dance to learn. We used to dance and learn to the drumming and the hum that wove the selves and stars into bright black eyes, visions, stomp and stroke pulsating language, all around flow of rhythm and balance, song of smoking house ablaze, imagination's rigorous ways. Then this great cosmic joke. One feather dropping wise. The river wakes, 
shakes her wings as if her body were a bell, as if bells yearned to ring warning. She arranges her feathers, and one drops wise and damp to the pebbled bank that sings importance and responsibility. As if rivers forget what they can be, forget how to rainbow or essential lessons in healing, as if bodies have forgotten the ocean, as if we've let slip the habits of salt blood and dancing with the moon. A palm placed on the fallen feather nose remembers that selling isn't knowing. Slip your banks, shake the equation of wings. Let's start the deep work of making well. From a two-floor skyline, an abandoned house talked to me. It said, young man, you are heroic and 10 years old. Among 20 generations of friends, friends will free fall away, free fall up, free fall the walls with fifth grade speed to industrial paint behind secondhand fences, young men use quick knife tones. Be bone and brass, be last laugh music. You are always leaving, Always one change of clothes from the door, a life in escape. A two-floor skyline said you're the guy that dies in the middle, the friend more blues than skin, the face that cheap hotel schizophrenics can place with 90 mile per hour right eyes among dry heat killers, once children, three feet high, and roaming and repeating and aiming at cotton mirrors that hang on breathing walls. You are 10 years old, tagging along, yawning at well-lit violence, Whistling tool shop songs, you will be useful. You will be high and alone. Flying on a nephew dragon from a $20 family in a sky that calls itself just more soil around walls that are just walls except these walls suggest you make wives out of highs and currency. Here the air is polite to sleepy glass and bullying walls. Young man, you will come to admit that sometimes suicide is power. That some people live stronger as ghosts and sometimes the afterlife empties Billions of souls enter objects like playground bullets and abandoned door frames. Even broken glass will prove it has voice too. There are 24 hours behind your back. Look over your shoulder right now. Can you hear it? The sound of drums punching themselves out. The sound of piano parts learned in between assassination attempts. Be bone and brass. Be bone enough for two souls. Be invincible again. Suffer red-eyed accents, professional fingertips, gifted victims, six in the morning beer, the first month of probation, the shout at the wall, see these words that shouldn't be home. Look behind you again. Be invincible again. Be windward. Be a sad machete. Be her son. Be a thief. Steal his back and laugh too long and never look away. The afterlife will empty and walk you home. Peace. It's easy to photograph war, harder to show peace, because peace looks like birthday parties, picnics at the beach, waiting for the bus, and another day at work. The problem with peace is that it's nothing special. Peace is ordinary, subtle as crossing when the light turns green and the rhythm of your feet becomes part of the pattern of the crosswalk, yellow and black, yellow and black, yellow and black. Uh, read just uh, an excerpt from a, uh, a, <laughs> a mock sestina called Something May Flower Yet, But. Hell of a long winter, hurt till least for some. Hell of a place containing unequal spacings called thing. Ain't what used to be, whether a day of labor or a permanent thusly. May finding dusts too difficult, mush cakes refuse to a flower, yearnings seeking orders for delightful immolations, yet atmosphere this way and that, all statistics inferred, but the nature of this follows from that 
etc. Exposed, but memory banks bursting. Was it an ad or an adversary pointing to some? The great floods were a portent of molds, an old ice box, parasites, yet pirates were spent in roosts. To rule was empty, inviting a trick, a thing a loose, old and awashed, there'd been piped lines, a leash to an old first flower, hint of mojitas swarmed over it blue crackling blued over some's crying may each disguise latinate in undations and placations in patina's throes. I'm always trying to figure out how to read this. I don't know. About it. <laughs> That's either really encouraging or really discouraging. I haven't figured it out. Um, <laughs> QR hand is still trying to figure out how to read.